Alright boys and girls, this is Boonjamin Bok Choy, welcome back to F1 Manager 23. We are starting a brand new series here, playing as Fry and looking to play with Charles Leclerc and Lewis Hamilton in the car. And we just managed to sign Lewis Hamilton and this is what it cost us. We put him in car number two for three seasons, starting immediately salary of $30 million, signing bonus of $2.5 million, a race target bonus of 400 k for every first place finish so we are going to go ahead and hire him right now we have 28 million dollars i can't remember how much it's going to cost us but that is the signing is going to eat up a chunk of this 28 million dollars i believe yes buyout fee if carlos signs is 10 million dollars cost to break contract 9 million dollars and the signing bonus is two and a half million dollars so that is pretty much what 23 million dollars right there 22 and a half now we have just secured Lewis Hamilton. We have $6.7 million left from an initial budget of $28 million. Now the only difference between us and Williams, I assume, is that we have better facilities. I think so. The only time I've played this game before was as Williams. Um, and that was quite a while ago, around launch time. So yeah, I don't think Williams even has a race simulator. Um, in their staff facility. So we're looking okay. We've got pretty much almost level 2 on everything except for Weather Center, Helipad, and the, uh, what was it, the CFD simulator. So we're looking good right now. I haven't even taken a look at the car yet. Let's go ahead and take a look at the inbox. Alright, let's take a look at the car. I think we will be second or third best on the grid right now. A lot of thirds and fifths. Let's see where Aston Martin is. Uh, as I said, I haven't played this game since launch, though we did get a couple patches I noticed because uh, I've been downloading them on Steam every time I logged on. So it looks like Aston Martin is ahead of us in the aero department, but we are faster in the velocity, or better in the velocity and components. So they are, wow, 13th in acceleration, so Mercedes PU not doing all that well and the extra weight on the Aston Martin is 19th So they do have a pretty good cornering car, but a very heavy slow accelerating car um, And I don't believe anybody's picked up Carlos signs yet nope still free agent so I'm sure once we start simulating through he will get picked up now um Let's go ahead and start work on the car. Now we only have six and six and a half million dollars now. How many car, uh, parts can we design? We can design four at a time, but I'm assuming because we don't have much wind hour times to begin with because we did so well last year, uh, I might want to only focus on maybe two parts. So let me take care of that off screen real quick and then I will come back after we finish designing our parts. All right, so we are back. We went with the underfloor and the front wing. Um, I didn't want to be at absolute zero for our budget, so I only went with two designs for now, and they should both help with the cornering speed, uh, or downforce anyway, and um, I think that's the most important thing right now is we seem to be okay pretty much everywhere across the car, but we might as well work on the downforce uh, as our engine I think is pretty, pretty good and our cooling is okay as well. So we'll start off with that um, and I think that is it. That's all we can really do. I don't think I want to do anything with our reserve driver. Not just yet, anyway. We might want to start scouting, though. Let's see. Let's go with the youngest and best driver. So we might want to go with Oli Behrman. Um, let's see if anybody else is better. Oli Behrman, 67 at 17. Isaac Hadjar, 68 at 18. Zane Maloney, Dennis Hauger, Theo Porcher. Um... Yeah, let's go ahead and do detailed scouting on Theo Porcher. I think he's probably going to be their, our best bet right now. Jack Dewan is 71, but he is also 20 years old. And I, Ayumu Wasa is t 71, but he's 21 years old. Oscar Piastri is already in F1. Yeah, I think that's it for young drivers here. 
Richard for sure, but yeah, Teo Porcher is already younger. Uh, let's go with who did I say? Ollie Bearman and Isaac Hajar. I think we'll have Lewis Hamilton for another couple years anyway. Where's Hadjar? He's in F2, and so is Ali Behrman. Let's go ahead and de do a detailed scouting on Ali Behrman. Oh, we have three scouts? We do have three scouts. Okay, let's just go ahead and do Isaac as well then. Again, I'm used to only playing as Williams, who only starts off with two scouts, so I thought I only had two scouts. And I think the rest of our staff is good. Um, top guys, anyway. Yeah, Enrico Cardile is number two. Diego Tondi is number two. No, that was okay. Race Engineers, we are number three and number ten. Yeah, I think that's ten. Three and ten. I think only Red Bull and Mercedes. Nope, that's Aston Martin. Red Bull. Oh, never mind. Bonnet tends up here. Red Bull and Mercedes have better um, engineers than we do. Who does Lewis have? Okay, Lewis has the better race engineer. Morale is low. Remain in contract ten months. So we only have these guys for the season. Oh man, we're gonna have to sign all these guys. All these guys. And um, our sporting director is number three, or number two, if you count the Mercedes guys. Uh, all right, so we're looking good here. I think I like our chances. Uh, let's go ahead and continue now. I think Red Bull should most likely finish 1-2. We'll have to fight with Alonso, the Aston Martin. It will be quicker than us, but I don't believe Stroll will be too much of an issue. Here we go. Driver development update. I don't think they upgraded at all. The only thing I'm worried about is Hamilton's not going to get any better. Where is their ah, development rate? So Hamilton is low and Leclerc is average. Now I think average is just like 0.99 or 1.0 experience multiplier. So he's whatever he gets from the races or the race weekends will be his total. Whereas Hamilton's was act, will actually be multiplied by like 0.6 or something like that, 0.7. So he'll take a hit. He won't be getting all of his experience points during the race weekend. We'll just keep him balanced for now. Actually, anything needing his reactions, his accuracy, and his smoothness. Accuracy. Wait, wait, what was it? Reactions, accuracy, and smoothness. Reactions, accuracy, and smoothness. Reactions. Accuracy and smoothness. This is reaction and smoothness. Is there anything with reactions and accuracy? Reactions and smoothness again. Reactions and smooth. So nothing with reaction and accuracy in it. That's odd. Maybe we'll just go with balance. Yeah, we'll just go with balance. How about Leclerc's reactions, accuracy, control, smoothness, and adaptability? I think maybe we'll just go with balanced again. I don't suppose these guys will be getting too many upgrade points uh, anymore anyway, as they're both on the higher end of the performance charts. Okay, so training schedule. We'll leave this as well. I don't know too much about this, so I don't want to mess around with it. We'll just keep it at the default. And then two more days to the race weekend. Okay, so we've already looked at the cars. Oh, no, we haven't. Um, let's just go through the grid. Red Bull will be number one for sure. How far off are we? Not too far off with top speed. Acceleration's a little bit lower. DRS effectiveness is low. Um, 3557, 3586, 8, 48, 3, 4, 8, I mean, we're not like leagues behind but obviously every little bit counts so red bull's number one i'm assuming aston martin is number two 
Yeah, like I said, their acceleration, their total extra weight is not that great. We are number three. Mercedes will be number four. Uh, huh. Not really. Where's uh, Alpine? Looks like Alpine has the better overall stats. But then Mercedes does have George Russell. Did they pick up signs? Did they pick up signs? They did. Okay, so Mercedes does have... Russell and Sainz, no silly season as I was expecting. I don't believe anybody else changed. Alex Albin, even after all those patches, still only an 81 overall. You're saying Alex Albin is only as good as K-Mag and just slightly better than Joe Guan Yu. I don't know about that. I think Albin's better than Stroll. I think Albin's at least on par with Ocon. And I can even make an argument for Valtteri Bottas, but I understand it. The cars are not that good, so... I don't know. Alex Albin at 81. I think it's a bit of a crime. But then his development development rate might be higher than guys like Hulkenberg and Magnussen. So I don't know. I love Alex Albin though, so what can I say? Alright, let's check this out. Nothing. Blah 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 blah. Let's go to our performance targets. Reach Q3. Definitely can do that. Qualifying position P4. One driver at P4. <sighs> Let's see. I think we can do this. I think at least Hamilton should be able to finish behind Verstappen, Perez, and Alonso. So let's do that. Definitely reach in Q2. Finish position. Fastest lap. Let's go for fastest lap. Yeah. Yeah. Although, I don't know, it might be tight. Hamilton might be tight with Alonso and maybe Perez. And then Leclerc might be tight with whoever's left. So let's... Yeah, let's try it anyway. We're losing a bunch of money with our, our race guarantees to uh, Hamilton and Leclerc. So let's try. And what's this? One driver finishing P6 or higher for two straight races. I think we could do that. I think at least Hamilton should be able to do that. Okay, so let's do that. Performance target, driver overview, yep, nothing there. Car builds, nothing we can do there, I don't think. All right, let's go ahead and start the race weekend, guys. I will uh, take care of practice. I'll see you guys back for the start of quali. All right, boys and girls, we're done with FP3. Lewis Hamilton topping FP3, Leclerc in P2. Now, we did get Hamilton's setup satisfaction to 100. Uh, Leclerc's was only as high as 95. And I tried to get it up a little bit higher, but um, we didn't finish in time for the end of FP3. So his starting confidence is only 60%. Lewis is at 94%. I don't know what I want to do here. If we want to just maybe set Leclerc's setup back to the 95, or do we want to risk maybe going higher? I think maybe we're just going to revert it back to 95 Yeah, um, I don't want to risk going any lower than that. Maybe this will help his satisfaction uh, or his, yeah, his driver confidence as well if we do a couple runs in Q1. So we'll do that. We'll keep his setup at 95. We'll keep, well, Hamilton's at 100. Um, I have all the confidence in the world that we're going to make it out of Q1 on one run. So we're going to try and save the tires as much as we can. Um, so we'll wait until we're down to the 10 minute mark in Q1 like we used to do in the Williams run through and then we will uh, just send him out for that one run we'll have Hamilton go out first I think there was a patch that got rid of traffic where the AI moves out of the way uh, a lot quicker so they don't slow you down quite as much so we'll do that um, the track should ramp up a little bit by the 10 minute mark as well we're just going to go 10 minutes just in case we make a mistake and we have to come back out for another run. So track is clear. We'll send out Hamilton, send out Leclerc. Uh, hopefully we don't get in the way of Bottas or Bottas doesn't get in the way of us. Let's see here. Let's just try to make it the top five. And I think we should be safe judging by these times here. But I think a lot of people got caught up because I don't think... I mean, maybe the McLarens are two and three seconds behind, but... Even between the McLarens, that, that gap is pretty high. So let's see. Uh, no purple sectors. Contact 
Hamilton P3, Leclerc good. P4. So I think that should be good enough to to get us into Q2, and I'm not going to waste any more tires there. So let's just go ahead and watch this. So you are P4, P4. Currently, Logan Sargent and Alex Albin in the top 15, which is good to see. Yeah, we're not going to send them out. Can Tsunoda get out of the bottom five? Looks like the Alfa Romeos and the McLarens will be kicked out. Who's getting kicked out? Logan Sargent currently in the top 15. Is that going to stick? Only Sonoda and Norris left. Oh my goodness. Both Williams out of Q or into Q2. So it looks like Nick DeVries, Valtteri Bottas, the two McLarens, and Joe Guan Yu both kicked out of Q1. Okay. Now, are we going to have to revert this back again? Yes, we are, because for some reason, when you revert it back the first time, this doesn't revert it back again for Q2. So I don't know what that, uh, what's going on with that. But our driver confidence is high now, which should help us. Uh, yes, Hamilton getting plus twos and a plus one, and Leclerc getting plus threes and plus twos. So that should help us out. So we will start on the scrubbed set of tires like we always do. And again, I don't think we're going to have any issue getting into Q3. So hopefully um, we won't need to use uh, more than one new set of tires. So we'll wait again until we get down to the 10 minute mark. Or maybe we want to come out with Verstappen. Maybe we'll come out with Verstappen. Let's wait for him to come out. Hopefully there isn't any traffic. Where are you, Max? There goes Hulkenberg, Sainz, Alonso. Come on, Max, where are you at? Red Bull waiting a long time to get into the swing of things here. There goes Alex. There goes Verstappen. Okay. So we'll send Hamilton out behind him. Wait a little bit, and then we'll send um, Leclerc out so we don't get any dirty air. Oh, oh no, looks like we're going to be right on the back of Verstappen, but hopefully he should be quicker than us, much quicker than us. All right, Leclerc got a purple sector, I think, which is still only P2 and P3, pretty much what I expected. You know what, we might be able to just make it through like this. I'm going to take a risk here, and I'm going to say Gasly Magnuson and Hulkenberg are not going to make up. Holy crap, Perez out there with a really quick time. I'm going to take a risk here. I don't think Magnuson and Hulkenberg find a half a second on this lap. No way in the hell do they find a half a second. Oh my god, do I want to risk it? Yes, I want new tires in the race. Please, please make it through. We're P4 and P5 right now. Stroll is ahead of Alonso. Okay. That is a little disconcerting. But we do manage to make it out of Q2 while running on a scrub set. And... Yeah, pretty decent run on the scrub set of tires. Now, now we should have two new sets for Q3 and two new sets for the race, which is good. All right. We are looking good. We are looking good. Car setup is at 97. How is that possible? How did the cars How did the car satis, uh, car setup satisfaction go up 2%? I don't know how that works. Plus twos and plus ones, plus threes and plus twos. I would love to get into the purple, but I don't think that's going to happen. I mean, look at this. We've got 100% car setup, and we ran pretty much all of free practice with Lewis Hamilton, and he's still only here. But it might be because the car is not the quickest. Maybe if we qualified higher in Q2, we might have um, done that. Okay, so we're starting on brand new sets of softs. Let's go. Oh, I didn't I didn't look to see who got eliminated in Q2, but I assume the Williams, the, the Haas has made it in Q2. Okay. Again, we will wait for uh, Verstappen to come out and slot in right behind him. All right, Max, we're looking for Max. There goes Russell, Alonso. Oh, nope, that's just Perez. There we go. 
Hopefully Leclerc isn't so close to Hamilton that we get dirty air. I think he might. I think Hamilton's at a pretty decent range to Verstappen, but I think Leclerc is way too close to Hamilton here. As long as... I don't know, maybe if Hamilton's faster... Ah, oh, no. Did we get any damage? No damage on the car. And he slowed down Leclerc too. That sucks. No, actually no, Leclerc's still P2. Perez putting in a very good lap. Okay. All right, that's why we... Uh... All right, we got to do this quick. All right, that's why we do two runs now. His confidence is still high. Luckily, Verstappen still hasn't gone out yet. There we go. There we go. All right. Good spacing now. Good spacing. Hopefully, that'll give us a good toe without getting too much dirty air. Come on. Give me some purple sectors, boys. Hamilton just needs a clean lap. Lewis, just give me a clean lap here, please. I would love a purple sector, but I will take green, especially from Leclerc. Ah, yellow sector. Come on. Give me purple. Come on, Leclerc. Damn it. How did Hamilton still only get... Oh, man. Ah, <sighs> boy. Okay, not At a good moment, start to our uh, season here. Not a great debut for Lewis That's Hamilton. Qualifying behind both Aston Martins. That'll be uh, a lot. That'll be asking a lot from Hamilton there. But at least Leclerc is up in P2. Dang. <sighs> Lewis was just barely faster in Q3 than he was in Q2. In Q2, he had super old tires. His Q1 time was faster. I don't get that. I don't get that at all. Compared to Leclerc, who was almost 8 tenths faster in Q3 than he was in Q2. That's disappointing. All right. The time has come to okay, now I believe with the patches, the one stops don't work anymore. So it's going to be one of these. Let's just go ahead and check it anyway. If we do a one stop. Oh boy. 24 seconds slower. 25 seconds slower. Okay, so the one stop is out of the question. Um, so do we want to start on the softs or do we want to start on the mediums? Mediums are starting on the mediums is two seconds slower. Maybe we'll start in the softs with both of, both of them. Give us some good good purchase on the grid and make that medium stint um, the shorter stint because it will. Yeah. All right, we'll do soft, soft, mediums. We're f far enough on the grid right now that I'm not worried about these two fighting as Leclerc will be P2, Hamilton will be P6. Let's give them some extra fuel here so we can push if we need to. Although I think the Ferrari engine is good enough to where we will be um, saving fuel even at um, a regular pace anyway. So, uh, But just in case, we'll give them one lapse worth of extra fuel and then we will adjust in the next race we'll see how we do if we end up needing this fuel anyway all right so p2 and p6 let's get this race started i apologize guys i'm gonna part i'm gonna pause right at the beginning to check the tires like i normally do uh looks like more people on softs than medium so i think we made the good choice here yeah so we're gonna pause it take a look only a few guys in the back in the middle on mediums looks like mostly everybody is on softs but the good thing is we do have two new sets of softs whereas i think most people will only have one new set if they have one new set so we should be all right let's stick with hamilton here actually you know what let's stick with leclerc to see him battling for step and now i generally like to push on fuel and on battery on this first lap just to try and gain as many positions as we can all right, come on, Leclerc. Can we gain a position? No, we're a little too far back. 
Oh, oh, here comes Perez as well. Let's try to keep this position, though. All right. I'm going to have Lewis push a little bit more because I don't think the Haases will be an issue. Let's try and get... Oh, uh, we dropped a position to Russell. That's not good. Boonjamin. Ah, my cat is, like, banging at my keyboard right now. Boonjamin, leave us alone. Okay, so Hamilton's falling back. Not good. Leclerc is falling back as well. Is it because we're not deploying battery? I think it might be because we're not deploying battery. Oh, groof. Not a great start for us, boys and girls. We should start spreading out a little bit now as the race goes on. Okay, that's enough of battery right now. I don't want to waste it completely on the first lap. Yeah, Hamilton start or Russell's starting to fall back a little bit. We'll stay on board for a couple of laps. I might try to do an undercut here. If Hamilton can't make any moves, we'll try an undercut. Ah, we're falling back. Okay, come on. We'll use battery to try and stay within DRS. I don't know if that's going to work, though. Alonso still within DRS. Stroll within DRS as well. Hamilton's starting to drop back a little bit from Russell. Not a great start to the season. Ah, boy. Perez with the fastest lap. They might be pushing on tires, too. If Alonso passes us, Alonso passes us. I'm not worried about that. All right. Let's save. Um, let's save battery here. If the Red Bulls start fighting, though, they might slow us, slow themselves down enough to where Leclerc might be able to catch up to them again. But we are almost two and a half seconds behind. Not great. Russell's about to fall out of DRS. Can we get this overtake done? Nope, Russell's going to get DRS. Is he, though? Come on, Lewis, come on. Sonoda locks up on turn 14. I don't know if the fuel had anything to do with it. We were really heavy on fuel. Tires are starting to overheat a little bit. Pushing on the fuel will definitely make the tires overheat. Alonso is right on our gearbox now. Yeah, they definitely were pushing on tires. What am I talking about? Holy cow, our tire life is so much better than theirs. Okay, let's go aggressive on these tires. Is that why they were so much faster than us? Guys, I haven't played this game in so long, so I don't really know. We'll top up our tires with Hamilton. All right. We'll, we'll have to remember that for next time. It looks like everybody was pushing on tires on those first few laps. Look at the difference in tire life. Hell, our tire life is better than Hulkenberg's on the mediums. Golly. Okay. Can we make this move on Russell? Let's get by Russell. I'm pushing with the wrong car. Let's get by Russell here and then make our way up to Stroll. How are we? The temperatures are going slightly up. All right. Come on. All right, we got by Russell. Can we get Stroll? I think we're about to get Stroll here. We just got by Stroll. Yeah, let's watch these overtakes, now, I suppose. Lewis Hamilton here. Oh. I was about to say, what a great camera angle. All right, so it looks like the uh, animations are still a little bit glitchy. <laughs> they still haven't fixed that yet, but that's fine. I will take the overtake anyway. Let's try and get by Alonso here in... Um, give Leclerc a little bit of breathing room. Now, the Red Bulls still aren't too far ahead here, so we might still have a chance. What's this tire life like? Okay. Okay, if we push on the tires with Leclerc and maybe for one lap with DR or ERS, can we catch up to the Red Bulls? Okay. 
entire life still better than everybody else is. I wonder how much sitting in the dirty air of Alonzo is causing us to overheat our tires. Come on, Leclerc, you can catch up to these guys. Yeah, I think so, because we're pushing the tires the same with Leclerc, but since he's in clean air, I don't think his tires are getting quite as hot as Hamilton's. Okay, where's our tires at? Still a little bit better than everybody else's. Starting to catch up to Perez now. Verstappen uh, starting to pull away from Perez a little bit. I think we're okay on battery. I would, you know what, let's go ahead and top up behind Alonso. Now, can we DRS jump each other with Alonso to catch up to the Red Bulls? No, they were five seconds ahead. Verstappen was five seconds ahead at one point, I think, and now he's down to about four. What's Just this? Look after these tires. Yeah, okay. okay. We're good, we're good. I think Alonso's about to pass us. No, Alonso coming into the pits. We still have a couple more laps to go. You know what? Having new tires is definitely helping us out, I believe. Head down. So we can go a couple more laps, I think. We'll come in with the Red Bulls, which means we'll have better tires at the end. Look at that. We're right. <laughs> We're just like the Red Bulls. They're fighting each other. We're fighting each other. I don't want to slow each other down. All right. When are we supposed to be coming in? Lap 19. Lap 19. Who's ahead? Hamilton is ahead. Okay. We'll have Hamilton come in first. Oh, they're fighting. I wish they would stop fighting. Yeah, Leclerc's only got one more lap anyway. All right, go go ahead, Leclerc. Come on in. All right, then we'll bring Leclerc in on this next lap. Let's see how much uh, Russell undercut us. Where's Alonzo? Oh, Alonzo got caught up in traffic. All right, Leclerc's coming in now. Can we get by Russell? There goes Verstappen into the box. Oh no. Leclerc came out behind all that traffic. Please tell me they still have the box. Why is Leclerc falling so far back? Okay, so Leclerc's out ahead of Stroll. That was confusing. Can we get this overtake done? We have plenty of fuel now. And Perez is on the mediums. Come on, Lewis, get this done. Alright, we'll try to get him on the next DRS straight. Let's go. Let's go, Lewis. Get this DRS and then get ahead of him. Verstappen's on the softs again. Perez Alonso on the mediums. All right, we'll save it for the DRS straight. Just stick close here, and then we'll get him on the DRS straight. Let's go. Let's go, Lewis. Get by him. Okay, way to be. Where's Leclerc? Okay, Leclerc just got by Stroll. Oh, yellow flag. We just overtook Stroll, that's fine. Sergeant spun on uh, turn 13, that's fine. Ah oh, man, Stroll just got by Leclerc again. Why is he so slow? going crazy on their tires. All right, I gotta remember that. Stroll. Oh, that was Alonzo we were fighting? 
Come on, come on, get by Stroll. All right, let's deploy a little bit. Try to pull it away from Stroll. Now we should be able to take a look I mean, this is probably just a now simple overtake at turn one, one so... Probably not really much to see, to but taken. might as well take a look at it. Closer and closer to that podium. Now in fourth. All right, good generic overtake at turn one. There we go. Can we pull away? Where are we? Leclerc. How far ahead are we? We are one second ahead. Where is Hamilton? Still ahead of Perez. We're still doing good. All right, tires are a little bit warm. Same with Leclerc. We are far enough ahead of Stroll now that we might be okay. Um, ooh. All right, Hamilton's a bit low on batteries. So is Leclerc. I think we got a good enough gap. Five second gap to Stroll now. I think we can start harvesting a little bit. We're gonna lose that position to Hamilton. I always knew that. We are starting to harvest now. Ooh, okay. Alonso just got in front of Stroll. Now we may have to start worrying. Hamilton overtakes Perez again. Yep, we're playing the game now. I do want to start harvesting, but I don't want to fall too far behind Perez. Alonzo dragging a stroll along now. All right, we're good. When's the next four or five laps to go? Okay. Four laps to go. I think we can go a little bit aggressive on these tires. Everybody else has got to be lower than us, right? Yeah, they're in the lower to mid 50s. We're still at 60% with Leclerc. Hamilton's tires are a little bit worse for wear than... Um, Verstappen's though, so where are we? Verstappen is pulling away. We might have a chance here for a P2. And if Leclerc can step on it, maybe a P2 and P3. Alright. Where is Hamilton? Alright, let's come in right now change onto those mediums um, we will have Leclerc go one more lap and then Leclerc will come in ninth fastest pit stop all right what are we looking at come on give me Hamilton's stats good 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 go away please there we go we're topping up with him. Let's go. All right, Leclerc is coming in. Yeah, Leclerc is coming in. Leclerc's got the fastest lap so far. Now we're going on to the mediums. I don't think we're going to have a chance at the fastest lap. Alonso still needs to come in for his pit stop. Perez still needs to come in. Verstappen is in right now. I don't think we're going to be close enough to really make a move out of it. Can Alonso catch up to Verstappen right now and slow him down? I don't know. Ocon, pit stop issue. Wait, Alonso's done. No, no, okay. Alonso still has to come in. Perez still has to come in. All right, so I think we're looking good here. Um, we do have an undercut at this point. Let's just have Leclerc go and top up a little bit as he doesn't have much battery. I don't think Hamilton's catching up to Verstappen. Nah, I don't think that's going to happen, boys and girls. Ah, uh, that's too bad. We will overtake Alonzo here before he goes into the pits, though. Does he have, like, some sort of car issue or something? All right, so Hamilton easily out in front of Perez, who is on the softs. Okay... Can we get Leclerc to pass Perez? I don't know. Hamilton's good. Got a good enough lead right now, but uh, yeah, Perez being on those soft tires, I don't think that's going to happen. Will these back markers get out of the way for us, though? Ah, Perez just stole the fastest lap. Let's see what our gap is to stroll. I don't think we're going to have...
Okay, I'll have Leclerc do it. I don't think Leclerc's got a chance of catching up to Perez anyway. And we need to save Hamilton's um, resources to possibly battle for P2 here. So we'll take Leclerc now and try to go for the fastest lap. I don't think it's going to happen. He's got traffic in front of him. All oh, right, he did. He just took it. Okay, so we did manage to steal the fastest lap. Good for you. And Hamilton's fallen off the back of Perez. So his tires are 73%. We do still have pretty decent amount of fuel. Let's see if we can catch up to him. Maybe get into a fight here. 10 laps left to go. We're less than two seconds behind, so we're not too far back. For Stappen being slowed down by backmarker traffic as well, can we still possibly get a win here? I don't know. What is Verstappen's... No, nope, never mind. Verstappen's tires are much better than ours at this point. We did catch up to Perez, though. And Verstappen's not too far ahead, but that's it for backmarker traffic at this point. Do we want to use the battery to try and catch up to Perez? Let's go. We've got pretty much a bunch of battery anyway. All right. Leclerc is definitely going to finish P4. Here we go. Let's see if we can get this overtake done. I think we're clearly faster than Verstappen. Or not Verstappen, Perez. All right, so we got the overtake done. Can we catch up to Verstappen? He's only three seconds ahead. Oh, man. He's not that far ahead. But Red Bull have the advantage here as they have two cars that can fight us. 2.9 seconds. What do we have? We don't have anything left to really fight with. 2.9 seconds still. I might just save my resources here to fight for third. I don't think we're catching up to Verstappen. I would love a safety car. That would be amazing right about now. Three laps to go. Yeah, we're still at three seconds. Final lap. Final lap, final lap. All right. All right. Let's save up this battery and try to maybe catch him in the last DRS zone. Can we do it? Come on, come on, Lewis. This would be an amazing start. This would be an amazing start. We don't have much. Move over. Oh, man, we don't have any battery left. Ah, oh, damn it. We just didn't have any. We just didn't have any battery there. Damn it. Ah. Ah, that was unfortunate, boys and girls. I mean, not, not a terrible finish considering Hamilton started P6 and then lost that position to Russell right away. Excuse me. Um, but P3, P4, not too bad. Leclerc did start uh, on the front row and he fell down to P4, so that's not great, but. I mean, Red Bull were just... Red Bull were always going to be quicker than us anyway. We did beat the Aston Martins, which is good. Nick de Vries, I think we've got there. And I believe as we saved ourselves some money here as Hamilton didn't finish P2. And I don't know what Leclerc's is. I didn't take a look at it. Um, but we did get the fastest lap as well, so we do get that extra point there. So 15 points for Hamilton, 13 points for Leclerc. 
Currently P3 and P4, Aston Martin, uh, P5 and P6, the Mercedes, P7, P8, Signs ahead of Russell, Gasly ahead of Ocon for the last point, the Haases, P11, P12, Alex Albin, P13, Lando Norris, P14, managed to come out of the, uh, what was that, the bottom three, I think it was like P18 or P19 to start the race, and uh, then Nick DeVries, wow, Nick DeVries beating Yuki Tsunoda. Uh, in his debut, Logan Sargent all the way down in P20 and Oscar Piastri P19. So um, we're P2 right now, but I think we we could have gotten um, second place in that race there. Unfortunate. I think I just mismanaged our resources at the end, but it's looking good. We're not that far behind Red Bull. I was expecting Red Bull to be like maybe 10 seconds ahead of us at the end of the race, but they were only about maybe four seconds ahead. Uh, Verstappen was anyway only about four seconds ahead. Didn't we get a fastest pit stop here? We did P5 here with Lewis Hamilton. I don't think this earns us anything, right? Um, so we're P5 now in the DHL fastest pit stops competition. Uh, ooh, only three and a half hundredths of a second off of the best. Yeah, three and a half hundredths. 2.535 to 2.499. So not too bad, although... Ah, what the hell happened to Leclerc here? I didn't even see that. No wonder he... Okay. You know what? This makes sense, because when he came out, he was behind the two Aston Martins, and I was like, why the hell is he so far behind? I didn't even see this pop up. Ah, oh, that sucks. So we probably could have gotten a 2-3. We could have finished P2 and P3. Um, yeah, we didn't do any practice with Antonio Giovinazzi. Uh, qualifying 6th. So I th think Leclerc is still good, right? As long as he qualifies there again for the uh, sponsorship money. Oh, Leclerc did make... Oh, he just needs to finish 7th or higher for a 200k bonus? Oh, we're losing that 200k every single race. But uh, Hamilton didn't finish first. Oh, okay. I thought he had to finish 2nd or better. It's finish 1st or better. All right. So we would have saved that money no matter what. Which is good for us as we still make almost $4 million there. Whew. That was a um, pretty good end to the race there all right so boys and girls that is it for our first race as ferrari with lewis hamilton and leclerc in the car if you guys enjoyed it feel free to leave a like comment or subscribe stay tuned for more remember to eat bok choy hopefully this will be a full-fledged series as f123 ranked online races is pretty much dead at this point maybe i can get like one or two good races in during the week and that's about it so i'll probably end up playing this a little bit more until the actual f1 season starts or <laughs> f124 comes out whatever <laughs> happens to be the event that causes me to stop playing this game again but uh yeah i will uh see you guys in the next episode